What's up guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. Just a second, that air will go off so you'll be able to hear me a little bit better. I am going to be making a 10 week series. This video is about 10 things I wish I knew before becoming a personal trainer. So, uh, without further ado, I wanna jump right into it. I want to try to do this video in five minutes or less. The first thing, and by no means is this like a series of complaining about, uh, you know, clients or complaining about anything. I'm also going to do, this is going to be a 10 week series. I'm going to do a new video on it every single week. So hopefully it helps you and brings you value on things that you should maybe focus on when becoming a personal trainer, okay? Um, the next thing that I wanted to say really quick is I'm going to do three other series that are also going to be 10 weeks. So I'm going to pump out one video about each topic. So I'm gonna do 10 things I wish I knew before becoming a personal trainer. 10 things I wish I knew before becoming an entrepreneur, 10 things I wish I knew before becoming a power lifter, and 10 things I wish I knew, what was the fourth one? Before becoming or starting the YouTube channel, okay? So, now we'll get into it. The first thing that I wanna talk about is 99% of people don't give a shit what you know. And all my clients are gonna be like, oh, we care about what you know, don't, don't you know, do you know, don't you know, you don't know. It's not to say that you don't need to be educated when you go into the field of personal training. But there are some things that are more important. The biggest and single most important thing is a client comes to you for one reason. How do I lose weight? How do I build muscle? What am I supposed to eat to be able to get in shape? What do I need to do to be able to achieve this? That's all they fucking care about. And they don't wanna, they don't wanna fucking learn it, most of them, I'm not saying all of them, most of them don't give a shit to learn about it. And if they do, they're probably fucking personal trainers. And it's probably you. And that's okay. That's great, there's nothing wrong with that. But in the big scheme of things, a client comes for one reason. I want results. What can you do to offer me this results, this said result? I am 200 pounds. I want to be 150 pounds. Get me from here to here, okay? You're not here to flex your understanding of kinesiology. It's great that you have that knowledge. It's awesome. But the way you need to pass that on to them is just by showing them flexing it through their results. That's it. And that's okay. Like there's nothing about it. Sometimes you can teach little certain things around, uh, you know, about why am I doing this and stuff like that. And you can shoot out some information and help them understand, you know, that they're not just wandering around in the dark for no reason. But in the big scheme of things, somebody wants results, deliver their results, and that's it. If they wanted to be a personal trainer, they would become a personal trainer. If they're an accountant or a bookkeeper or they work at Walmart or they're a manager or they do restaurant work or they cut hair or they fucking work construction, that is their field of specialty. This is yours. It is your, your duty and your job requirement. These people hired you because they want results. That's the single most important thing that you need to remember. And it's okay, it's okay. Like nobody said you need to be a teacher of these things. Otherwise, create a personal training program, get accredited by some colleges and teach future personal trainers about personal training. That's not what you're doing. You are literally here just to help people get their results. That's it. And maybe create an okay environment and stuff like that and you know create a community and stuff but beyond that just help them get their results they don't give a shit about what you know and that's perfectly good some people will be like well i want him to have this degree and blah 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 blah, blah. fine 
Good. Here's the credentials. Here's this. Here's that. Fine. Whatever. And most of them will say, oh, okay, that's great. That's fine. That's good. And if that's the type of person you're dealing with, weigh your results. Do I really want to deal with this person? Is this person going to be an issue? Are they just being a Karen or whatever? That's okay. Whatever it is. So that is the first video. And that Hopefully that helps you understand, yes, it's great that you know those things, but don't think you're going to go into the market flexing your ability to know things about the skeletal system or the muscle imbalances or anything. It's great to be able to pass the knowledge on sometimes to help the person understand what they're doing, but you don't want to kill them with boring ass shit all the time. Like they're not here for that and that's okay. They are here for results. Keep that in mind. Results drive income. Results drive future. Results drive more clients. Results drive happy clients. Happy clients are good. That's what you want. You want people to be getting results. If they're not getting results, that's okay. The other things that something that we're going to talk about next week is I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to tune in next week. You guys, I hope that information helped you. I know it's kind of a basic opener, but I hope it really information helps you. If you did, if it does, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I do want to tell, uh, that's it. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Too much. I got it. I'll tell you next time. I'll tell you a small little story next time about a dog that didn't really exist. Stay tuned, guys. Be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. If you're new here, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life and also on Instagram at One Big Impact. This is my gym. I am a business owner. So have a good day, guys. Keep up the good work. Really quick. I didn't want to forget this on my first video. When I became a personal trainer, I didn't want to. And I still don't want to. I know that sounds crazy, but to me, personal trainers were always about collecting a check, collecting a check, collecting a check, and nothing else mattered. It didn't seem like much people were actually providing results out there. Well, a few years back, um, quite a few years back now, um, somebody wanted to pay for my personal training license, and they did, and I paid them back, and Mary Lou, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, this is why I'm here today, so I appreciate you. And even though I was mad at you at the time, I'm not as mad at you now. And I uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you.